What is going on, guys? Fumbles back again, coming at you the showcase on the new Parasol again. I always find this character funny because, like, I like his aesthetic a lot, but with his Parasol open, I keep thinking it's a boulder in the background, and I'm just like, why the hell is he carrying this crap around? And I really do love his aesthetics. The fact that this character has, like, little Sasuke vibes to him, I get that this is, like, the color scheme of, like, uh, Kozuki Oden, but, like, I don't know, something about Gin with, like, purple, I, I don't know, I, it, it just, something about him screams, like, Sasuke. I, I don't know, I don't know, there's something about it, it's just weird. Uh, either way, let's just get right into it. Uh, he is a Soul Reaper with a Soul Reaper Killer. He is 2 out of 5, we do have a SP level 10 here, Strong Attack Recharge, T15 at full stamina damage boost. I would recommend getting him at T20, but honestly, like, I don't think this character is used in many... This is the unfortunate part. I don't feel like this character has a lot of utility outside of many places. Yeah, let's just get right into it, right? So this character doesn't have a barrier. I mean, excuse me. This character has barrier for a second strong attack. So this is a 40 second cooldown second strong attack. But since it doesn't come with the heal, it doesn't come with a boost. My issue with this strong attack is like, this could have been a boost unit for guild quests. This could have been a heal unit for PvE, like regular PvE content. Instead, he got bear only barriers and since he has a lot of full stamina only vibe like, like he has a lot of like full stamina only skills to him i don't really understand why caleb didn't just give him heals or give him drain and weaken like going into his innate skills we have sprinter plus two let's talk about utility right so he has sprinter plus two so he will be able to flash that around quite a bit so you have a lot of uh, mobility read all affiliation dodge so enemies that dodge and content like small or medium scrolls or some Sinkaimon stages. Uh, he's not really going to have much issues at all there, regardless of his killer. We have full stamina only reduced strong attack cooldown, so he's going to have strong attack recharge of 18% when you combine it with his soul trait, which is really, really, really good. Then we have complete status immunity from all status elements, which is really good for content like GQ, which is why I wish he had like a booster heal. Havoc 20% for his increased strong attacks, uh, strong attack radius. Debilitator plus 5 seconds, pretty standard for weaken. Increased status element chance against power attribute enemies. Really, really, really strong on a character with weaken as his uh, status elements. Considering that this character also has the damage to weaken enemies 40%. Keep in mind, when a character is weakened, they take they already take 50% damage, right? With this damage to weaken enemies, it'll actually multiply into itself and it should deal double damage. Here, you'll see here that he deals 110% more damage to de uh, weaken enemies. If you calculate in the 50% damage to weaken enemies already. Uh, keep in mind he has multi-barrier plus two, which is excellent. Guard break as well as nullify range resistance and hit hidden enemies built into him. Like, this character has a lot going on for him, but I feel like he's just going to be used in like extreme co-op. Which, in my opinion, is kind of unfortunate because, I, like I said, I really like his design. Now let's just take him into regular. Let's just take him into IT. See how he performs there, and then we can get into like IZ and actually like play test some damage, right? Uh, it's, it is not IT day. IT day is Monday. It's currently Wednesday. All right, so let's take him here. Now for epic raids, I will say since I believe he is bonus this time around with the awakened Kisuke raid. He is actually quite insane there. Like, the multi-barrier comes in super, super clutch. There's not too many purple AoEs outside of, like, the minimal range of the boss. So if you just stay on the outside and just, like, rely on Gin's, like, multi-barrier to protect you, you're pretty much Gucci, regardless of if you're playing as Gin or if you're playing as a side unit. 18% mag for a strong attack. Honestly, I actually really dislike that strong attack. Full screen third. Like the fact that this character has a frenzy plus two is pretty nice. And he has the increased status ailment chance. Means that he's very, very likely to proc his weaken. Will we proc here? Yeah, there, there's one enemy that's proc'd. 52,500. Uh, I'm trying to think if. Nah, we can't really test it properly because. We don't have a character that'll guarantee proc another status element without potentially killing them with like a soul bomb oh yeah i like the barrier too let me see what happens when you get damaged on the barrier okay 
Ah, when you're in danger of losing the barrier, it becomes only one little, uh, one little ring around you. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. I like barriers on SP units, even though it does come with, uh, even though it does come with the downside that you're not going to get your strong attacks back as often. Like when you're running a character with a lot of strong attack recharge, like this Gin, for example, your barrier, like pretty much leaves as you get your strong attack back. And since this character has access to strong attack recharge 18%, I really think that it helps him out quite a lot. My problem with this character really comes with that first strong attack, I'll be real with you, makes me borderline uninterested to play the character. 18% <laughs> strong attacks, 18% magnification range collision first strong attacks are some of the worst strong attacks in the entire game. Animations for a second is, is, is really, really cool, though. I, I, will, I will give them that. Oh, the umbrella opening has become a bore. That's so funny. Like he was modeling for an extended period of time. Mother, mother, your name. Ah, it's such a cool design. Uh, like I said, I do think that he's a pretty good character, but I don't really see him having too many uses outside of, like, normal, like, regular PvE content. I don't think that you're gonna... I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I, I do like Gin, so I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hold him to a higher standard. And since I just played with a Rukia that was max transcended, and she kind of just, like... Cream pied and unalived everything in the blink of an eye. It's, it's kind of unfortunate seeing like an 18% mag for a strong attack, you know what I'm saying? Especially in 2023. When you have 3k link beams, when you have uh, like 1200, 1200 shotgun blasts and vacuum explosions as first strong attacks, and then you tell me like this is acceptable, it's just kind of like it's just a big oof to me. Alright, so 20k. Pretty standard, times 1.6, 20k turns into 32k. Uh, with Frenzy plus 2, he's going to deal a lot more damage than a normal Frenzy 1 character, which is really good. Because uh, like this 20k is pretty standard damage for a character with Frenzy plus 1 plus Frenz or Frenzy plus 2. But with Frenzy plus 2, you're literally getting 50% more damage just off rip just because it's an extra hit, right, per strong attack. So you're dealing 32, usually it's 8. 32,000 times 8. You're dealing 256k with the third strong attack, which is not bad considering, like, we're not taking into account the fact that they could be weakened, right? So, pay attention. 18,000 to 49,000, right? So, like, like I said, you're dealing significantly more damage to those enemies. 39,000 to... Does someone here have, like, increased damage to status element affected enemies? I don't even know. So you deal 21,000. <laughs> I'm trying to get the weekend off, bro. There's the weekend. 50,000. All right, so let's do 50,000 times 1.2. Let's assume we crit, because we critted that other person for like the other bit, right? Well, let's just do this. 17.7K. Okay, cool. So let's take the 17... 50,000 divided by 17,000. We're doing like 300% more damage to those enemies? Why? I'm trying to mentally process why it's going so high. Because, like, my assumption was. Times 40%. 50% 50 more damage. When they're weakened. No, this isn't a damage bonus. This is just straight up. Why are we dealing so much damage to them? Yeah. Alright, dude, I, I actually completely forgot he had Sprinter Plus 2. So we normally deal 20k. Check out the Soul Bomb. 
145 versus 30k. Okay, that's interesting. I want to figure out why that damage is so much higher. That was wild. Damage to... Like, it should be 34k, not 50k. That's that's that is, that's why I'm mainly confused. The CC Cleaner is such a scam, bro. If y'all know a good, like, cleaning software for your PC, y'all let me know. Alright, so let's see. Full stamina damage boost. Sprinter plus 2. Increased strong attack damage, 40% when you're full stam. I mean, we're full stam the whole time, so that's not it. Increased status element chance. Hit hidden enemies. I don't really see why we would be dealing significantly more damage. It's not you. You don't even have status elements, I know that. All oh, right, Tensa has co-op bonus damage. Like, I love him, he's so good. He strong attack cooldown, increase status on the chance, increase speed, attribute character strong attack damage, increased speed, attribute so there, there it is. <laughs> I, dude, I, knew, I knew something was wrong, bro. I knew something was wrong. There was like no way. Fifty thousand divided by this should be thirty-four. There it is. There it is. Div divided by the forty percent from this, we're dealing like double, um, a little bit more than double damage than normal, which is really, really good. Like, like I said, uh, we, when you're dealing damage to weaken enemies, fifty percent naturally, and then you have forty percent extra damage to weaken enemies, that compounds into a 110 per it's it's pretty much like you could read 40 percent as damage to weaken enemies plus 110 percent and when you take the 17,000 multiplies by one point no, no excuse me by 2.10 we're dealing 35,700 so that 50k that we were occasionally seeing very very consistently literally if you divide the 1.4 the 40 percent Increased speed, attribute, soul reaper damage to status element affected enemies that this uh, icon has. We're literally getting exactly the right, like, within 14 damage. <laughs> I love math. Okay, so yeah, so so pretty much the Tensa will deal normally as crits 20k. When he has killer, he's going to be dealing 32,000. Multiplies by like 12 for his third strong attack, you have like 384k. The 18% magnification first strong attack is very, very inconsistent to calculate the damage, but you can pretty much guesstimate that it would deal roughly 250 to 285,000 if you had killer in IZ in particular. But if you have like weaken on the enemies, you're dealing significantly more damage. Like, say the character that you're fighting has weaken, then you end up dealing double, more than double damage to them. And that's not even like counting the fact that at the very least you'll have your full stam across the board if you're running a good amount of strong attack recharge. The problem with full stamina damage boost, uh, excuse me, full stamina damage boost along with full stamina strong attack damage 40% and full stamina strong attack recharge 6%, as soon as you lose your full stam, if you don't have a way to heal that up, which this gin does not have a way to heal that up back to full you end up losing so much of the character and that's why i was saying earlier i'm like this barrier doesn't come with a boost it doesn't come with a heal which boosts increase your defense significantly at, like and that usually is enough to help you keep your full stamina, or at the very least potentially pick up like a green orb that'll heal you back up to full at some point um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my only like real issues. Uh, otherwise, I do think that this character is good. I don't think he's great. I think he's just a good character. I feel like if this character came out for mid month and they gave him havoc, I think that he would just be a really good mid month character. <sighs> that hurts to say, to be honest. But if y'all want someone to lie to you, you you you, you honestly picked the wrong YouTube channel for that. <laughs> So anyways, um, overall, I do like the Gin. I, don't, I think he's worth like going five steps on the banner for, like if you like Gin, but I'll be real with you, you're probably not going to play with him too much unless you genuinely just love the character. And that's my main concern with a lot of these uh, characters that Caleb comes out with sometimes. Like Ikaku is a farmer, so you're going to play with him a lot. And Rukia, even though I think that she's just like good for dealing damage, she is incredibly strong. 
and her kit in my opinion is not trash which i think that gin's first strong attack being a 18 percent mag and his second strong attack just being only a multi barrier instead of like a potential utility character like boost or heal i feel like that really ends up hurting the character as a whole uh obviously caleb's not going to patch in anything and make him stronger or weaker so i mean there's that but eh, i mean that's just my two cents i do love gin um i personally like his safwi design a lot of people are still underwhelmed by his safwi design i actually really liked it regardless do i wish he was stronger yes like is there anything i can really do about it besides like wine and bitch like a little whore no i'm not really but either way that's gonna be my review on gin uh, shout out to my boy gamer for letting me do this showcase and i'll see y'all in the next one peace